Hmm. If I head to the night market now, she'll never even know I went. I'll just lock up the shop and... Oh. Hello. Sorry, I didn't think you would be stopping by for a lesson. I was just about to head to the night market. You wouldn't want to join me, would you? Excellent. Tell you what. Since you came all the way here for a lesson, and I'm running out, dinner's on me. There's an older woman in the market that makes the best stuffed cabbage. Isn't the night market wonderful, my protege? I only need a few ingredients. However, I was hoping to get something for Wilhelmina's birthday. There are only two people I've ever met in this world who are so extremely hard to shop for. My father and my sister. My father hated surprises, so it had to be something practical. One year, I even learned how to knit just so I could make him socks with his initials on them. And Wilhelmina, she's just too good to want anything. She doesn't want to put anyone out. But, she does love antiques. I just have to find something small enough she won't say it's far too much. What do I like? Well, I love snakes. One year, my mother and father gave me a pen that transformed into a tiny little snake that would slither around my desk at the academy. I also love honeycomb candles. The sweet smell is divine, and they are excellent for seances. Tomes and grimoires are also wonderful. <laughs> Don't laugh. I was top of my class because I liked to read, and that made studying easy. Fine. What do you like, then? Really? That's quite interesting. Would you show me some time? I think I would enjoy that as well. You always manage to impress me. Mmm. It smells like Mama Lorraine just finished making her homemade kettle corn. That woman deserves the kingdom and the crown for it. Let's get some. Two, please, Mama Lorraine. Here you are, dearie. That'll be ten copper. Here, and keep the change. Thank you. All right, so... I need to meet with some pirates who bring in mermaid scales from the Opal Coast. Then I need to find the dentist's wife. She sells teeth. She's a witch, too, but her husband doesn't know. <laughs> How has he not found out? Well, her husband is clueless in general. He doesn't even know that I'm more her type than him. She's only with him because he's rich and can get his hands on ingredients for potent spells. One time, he almost caught us in the middle of a romp. No wonder the dentist likes her so much. She has an amazing mouth. <clears throat> um, I mean, teeth. Obviously. <laughs> what? What is that face for? Are you all right? Hey, where are you going? Come back. Ugh, I finally caught up with you. What is wrong? You didn't want to hear about... Oh, I'm sorry to have offended you with my crass discussion earlier. It wasn't that. What then? Wait. Are you jealous of... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a yes. So you do like me. 
Well, my little protege, do you want to hear my secret? I like you too. To be honest, I misread you. I would have thought you would have preferred someone more reserved, someone less assertive. I never thought you would like me. Clearly, I'm only right most of the time. <laughs> Well, now that that's settled, let me just... My, my. <laughs> now, my little protege, we have shopping to do. Hold my hand and show the world how lucky I am. It looks like we have everything on my list. That is, except for my sister's gift. <sighs> oh well. Huh? A jewelry booth? Sure. We can look over there. Hmm. Some of this stuff does look old. The brooch? I do like it. But it's not really her style. It's too ostentatious. A necklace may be good. Although, these ones don't look very old. This one's nice, but... Oh. Did you find something? A fan. Hmm. It isn't too gaudy. Black lace and purple silk. Definitely my sister's colors. The wood on it needs some varnish, but I have some at the shop, I think. It looks extremely old. I wonder what it's seen. Father? Reiku, remember this moment. I want to relive it later. Yes, mistress. Vici, guard the door. Yes, my lady. We didn't kill good King Samus. Now let us go. I know Mrs. Proctor, for you see... Queen Marcel... I did. If you killed him, then why are we here? You see, Eloise, I was born feeble with weak magic. I was married off to a man I never loved because of it, and I was never taken seriously by anyone except for my familiar, the only person I will ever truly care for. That is, until Reiku here and I struck a deal. He gets the souls, I get the magic. You can't mean... Yes, my little sacrifice. <laughs> I made a deal with a demon. You see this fan? This is the form that he hides in when he's not serving me. And when he's done with you, I will have all your magic. But why kill King Samus? I needed a reason to justify killing witches. And I hated him. Now, let me give you a demonstration on your husband. While he's still out cold. After all... It's a very painful process if you're awake. Reiku! It's time to feed my pet. Thank you, mistress. Rowan? Rowan, wake up, honey! Rowan! Please don't do this. Rowan! Don't hurt him! Curse the magic I possess. 
Next, use my power to die a painful death. And now for you. If you tell me where more witches are, I may spare you. No. I won't do that. This ends with me. I may never see it, but I will leave a better world for my daughters. Someday, they will undo all the damage you caused, I swear it. Bold words for a woman in shackles. <sighs> Reiku, I've grown tired of her. Kill her. Yes, mistress. Mm, good boy. <laughs> oh, I can feel myself getting stronger already. <laughs> Let's test my new power. What? What? <laughs> it feels like I'm on fire! <gasps> Vigi! V Vigi, help, help me. I I'm a lady. <laughs> I stay with me. Please. Please. Beach. Marcel. Did you see that too? Glowing? What do you mean I was holding a glowing orb? Why is everyone staring at me? Using magic? No, I, I wasn't. I... Damn it! It's the Royal Guard. Run! Run! This way, quick through the alley! I'm so sorry. Run home. Lock the doors. Don't let anyone in. This is where she lives. Her sister and her run a shop out of the front. Edwina? Open up. Edwina. Please. I didn't do anything wrong. It's Renee, captain of the guard. I didn't even mean to, and... Marcel... Open this door. She murdered my parents. Come peacefully, or I'll have to use force. Edwina, and, and open this door. Witch. Renee, tell them I would never hurt anyone. You, you can't do this. Please, Renee. I'm sorry, Edwina. You know I can't do this. Please, I wouldn't hurt anyone. Edwina. Please, this country has taken enough from Wilhelmina. Don't take me too. <laughs> 